Right, I've come to a decision. I've got to get the Solex running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit Paul's, you know what I'm talking about, Paul's flywheel and then take some advice on mine and it's weird sticky uppy key thing. Because it's going to take weeks to fix, no doubt. I'm probably going to have to find a vice, find somebody with a vice. Um, this is my workshop. I've got a piano, great. Uh, and then hopefully try and file that key down, which is, you know, not great, seeing as I sent it off to have it done. But um, anyway, maybe we'll give the um, Van der Ven Solux a chance to fix it themselves. All right, so I'm going to fit Paul's flywheel now, and that means I'm going to be hefting Excalibur, the... Uh, the beam torque wrench. Okay, so I'll just turn you around and we'll get on with that. All right then, torque wrench fans, here we are. This is Paul's flywheel, the one that actually works. So he won't mind if I put it back on just to test the uh, the atom, see if it works. All right, so uh, here we have the uh, the crankshaft. See that turning there? That's good news when a crankshaft turns. Uh, I'm going to line up the key in here with that slot. I mean, look at that. That is how it's supposed to go on. All right, now I don't want that to drop off, so I'm going to hold that. Here is the nut. Let's tighten that nut up. All right, so let's have some dramatic music. We use the old ways. Speed of horse. It's time for Excalibur. Okay, so this is a beam torque wrench. And it's got a little scale here. So when I lean on... Here, I'll just move you back a bit. When I lean on uh, the handle, the main shaft will actually bend, making this needle appear to move up. All right, I don't know which uh, which bit to show you here. Maybe what I'll do is I'll show you the handle. I'm going to make sure that I actually do it right rather than just showing off. All right, so well, that's a good start. Okay, so I can't get it on the uh, on the thing. Oh, that's good. Great. Is it not a thirteen? I remember Paul having this problem last time. Oh right, it's not a 13. Okay, that's good then. Let's go to 14, shall we then? Fourteen. I'm sure this was a 13 when I took it off. Anyway, I've just been uh, filming a speaker while talking to you there, but anyway, alright. So here we are. Torque wrench back on. All right, so. So this is just normal tightening up of the nut here now going on. Perfectly normal, nothing to see here. Okay, now it's getting a little bit tighter. Okay, so I've got to position myself so I can see. Oh, I know I've got young eyes, but... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift this. Now, let's, let's check this fact, shall we? This is in foot-pounds. Do, 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 do. That's our nut there. All right, so... Pound foot, I reckon that's the same thing. It's one pound at a foot leverage distance. Okay, so the blue, 25.3. Can you see that? Okay, so it's not the bigger number, it's not 34, that's Newton meters. We're going to go for the smaller number. All right, so I'm going to get this little needle so that it goes to. Uh, I've forgotten what it was. 25. 25 is kind of about uh, there. 
Okay. Oh, you've gone out of shot. Reposition you again. You excited? Okay. This is most odd. Now, everyone who's done this is always shocked by how much torque you have to put on these things. The actual engine's lifting off the wheel. Now, call me old fashioned. But that. That was about 25. I think that was it. Now I'm not going to do it again. Uh, I shall review the footage of this and check that it really did go to 25 because I was too busy filming and being all dramatic to actually watch too closely, which is probably a mistake. But okay, about 25. That's a lot of talk. I was really leaning on that. I don't want to do it too much because it's not my... Um, Not my flywheel. Okay, let's put that little cover on. There. Okay. And that will act as a lock nut. Now I seem to remember that that ended up being a 13. So let's use a normal ring spanner for that. And it is a 13. What's going on? There we go. I'm not concentrating now. So that's all nice and tight. That's like a lock nut. All right, jolly good. Let's put uh, this back on. We don't want to be starting the engine with uh, that off. Now I'm not going to put the little, the middle sort of vanity cover thing on for the moment. You can see there's all the rubber catches. Aren't they lovely? Okay, now something really important has got to be done now. Um, I'm going to have to bring you back a bit. I've got to get this spark plug off. Wow, it's going to fight me every turn of the way. Thanks for that. Oh, I see it was on that rubber washer thing. All right, so there's the air cleaner. Looks like a looks like a spaceship from Star Wars, doesn't it? There you go, put that down there. Don't lose that. Okay, let's get this uh, HT lead off here. Oh, that's the wrong size. Who would have thought it? This one? Yes. Now, you might be wondering what I'm doing here. What I'm doing... Oh, you're going to fight me as well. Yeah, I'm going to go as difficult as I can. Why are you all being difficult? Are you cross-threaded? How can you be cross-threaded? I didn't cross-thread you. Weird. Okay. All right, I'll just pick you up and show you show you what I'm doing here. All right, so this was attached onto there. And I'm going to take this off. Okay, so there's the spark plug. What I'm going to be doing is Let's have a look at the condition of that. What do you think? Come on, you know about spark plugs. Is that any good? Doesn't look too bad, does it? Shall I give it a quick... Uh, give it a quick brush up. There you go. Going anywhere nice on holiday, sir? All right, do you remember in the pack that came with the thing there was, I say thing, I mean uh, atom, 
there was a little bit of metal. Here we are. And, oh, look, my gap was too big. So this gap is exactly the right size now for, for electronic ignition. Well, that might explain a few things, because I think it's supposed to be half a millimetre before. Uh, and this is a 0 0.6, so, oh, my gap was too big anyway. So I could have just left that. So let's put that back. One less job. Um, let's screw that back down. Okay. Okay, that's probably fine. Don't want to over tighten it. All right, so let's put the HT lead back on here at the top. There we go. Uh, let's tighten that down. All right. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to put the air filter back on, the air cleaner, I should call it. Uh, I'm going to try and make that sit down better on the back here, but I'm sure I do always get it perfectly right. If I have to edit this stuff out, well, you won't know, will you? I mean, that goes in there, doesn't it? goes in there. It sits too high, but then the carburetor sits too high, doesn't it? Can't make the carburetor go down, can I? Weird. All right, so I think, let me just bring that back a bit to use two hands on this. I'm not going to do this too tight because I'm probably going to uh, put that spark plug in more correctly when I give it a bit of a test ride. Just, just go over all the nuts and bolts. Um, you know what I'm talking about. You just go over all the nuts and bolts and check you've done everything, done everything up right. Okay, so uh, I'll just waggle you around a bit more. So there we go. Let's just run through it. Atom, you know, it could be more correctly put on. But I'll do that at a later point, I promise you. Earthed, connected, connected safely and securely to the uh, ignition coil. Uh, that was all good. All gunged in and tightened up. Nothing loose in there. Nice fly will put on. Torqued up to what I think is basically the correct setting without actually lifting the bike off the ground. Um, let's have a look. Spark plug checked. This bike is now ready for a test ride. Or is it? I'll give you a few seconds. Why don't you pause the video now and have a think. What is wrong with this bike? Why should I not ride it? Is it because it's too small for me? No. It's always been too small for me. Why can I not now ride this bike? Why can't I get on it and look like an absolute hero? Can you guess? Okay, let's put the video back on. The answer is, I've still got the crank blocker in there. Let's take that out. Okay, so there's that little hole in the front. You see there? Little hole. I'm just gonna plug that hole up. All right, uh, that's probably enough for the moment. Um, I will see you in the next video where we uh, go for a test ride. Thanks for watching.